fellow soulmates welcome back to the channel today i'll be honoring a request that was made by one of my subscribers i'll be making this circle dress with a yoke and some frills at the front now i'm sorry if this is very late um it, it took me a while to really um get it done but today i will not making i will not be making this dress for myself but I showed the dress to my mother-in-law and she loved it very much and she wanted that style. So I'm going to make it, um, make it for her. Um, so come along with me and I'll show you how to achieve this style. Now this, I haven't done her basic bodice as yet. And based on the survey that was that I gave, I see that most of us here are still learning the basic bodice. So I decided to show on camera how I make a basic bodice pattern. Now, the first thing you want to do is to get your measurements correct and you're going to take your bust measurement and you're going to divide your bust measurement. Our bust measurement is 39 inches. You're going to divide your bust measurement by two and then you're going to add two or three inches more to it to get your box. So this is my box. Now what you need to know, know is that the front and the back measurement from shoulder to waist is different. So her shoulder to waist at the front is 17 inches and her shoulder to waist at the back is 15 inches. So this is what I have from this line to this line is 17 inches and this line to this line is 15 inches and you might be wondering how is it gonna match up but this dress is gonna have a bust dart and the bust dart is gonna be two inches because it is the difference between the front and the back pattern now what you're going to do you're going to determine her chest line to get your chest line you're going to take her bust which is 39 inches you're going to divide it by six. So when I take her bust and I divide it by six, I get 6.5 and you're going to add 1.5 inch to it, okay? So our chest line is going to be eight inches, all right? So from this line, the shoulder line, from this line, before you do that, you're going to take your neck width measurement. Now her neck width measurement is, you could do 39 divided by 12 is 3.25, but I'm going to make it three inches. So I'm gonna use three inches for her. So three by three at the front and three by one. And then you're going to connect those right here. So this is standard to get yours. You can divide your chest by your bust measurement by 12. So this is what you're going to have. So this is the front. And this here is the back. So now that you get your chest, this is going to be altered based on your preference. So now what you're going to do, you're going to put our shoulder measurement. Our shoulder measurement is 13 inches, which is 6.5. Okay. So I'm going to put 6.5 here. And because I, what I notice over time is that when I put the, the, the measurement, the armhole at the front gets a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do at the front, you're going to go down 1.25 to one and a half inches. I'm gonna go down 1.25 inches for the front and at the back, I'm gonna go down one inch, okay? And I'm gonna make my shoulder slant. Now, now you're going to put your chest line measurement 
you're going to put your chest line measurement so in this case hers is eight so from this point i'm gonna put eight inches and i'm putting it at the back okay so in all from here to there is nine inches okay so i'm just gonna measure the nine inch all over because of this one inch that you came down from here to here is eight inches all of this is gonna be nine inches so i'm going to take that measurement all the way over Okay, now this is your chest line measurement. This is your chest. So what you're going to do now, the same measurement you have at your shoulder, which is what, 6.5, which is your shoulder measurement, you're going to put it here. So you're going to put 6.5 here, 6.5 here. And I'm just going to use a broken line here because it's not permanent. Okay, so now that you have this at the front, you're gonna go up about three inches. You're gonna mark and come in three quarters of an inch. You're gonna draw this line right here. So now this is your armhole measurement. Okay. And then you're going to find the midpoint of this line. This is 8 inches, so it's 4. And you're going to come in half an inch. Draw this line. Okay. Now you're going to draw your armhole. You're going to turn it so that you get it sitting on that chest line right there. Turn it so you get it sitting on the chest line. Okay? And then you're going to do the same thing here. Fix it so that the armhole sits on that chest line. Okay. Perfect. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to do your bust tightening, your, your back tightening. So at this point right here, I'm going to give her three quarters of an inch of tightening, okay? And what you could do, you could go here and find the midpoint and connect this to this point, or you could connect it from the chest line. You can even connect it from this top line here. It, it doesn't matter, right? It depends on what you want. So I'm gonna connect it from this point here, okay? And then, so this deals with the tightening. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put our waist measurement. Our waist is 30 inches. 30 divided by 4 is 7.5. Okay? So here, from the back tightening now, I'm going to put 7.5. And um, this is the same thing for the front. 7.5. Okay? But this is not going to be permanent because we're going to add our dots. So our bust time measurement is eight inches so at the front i'm going to put half of our bust span which is four okay and i'm going to put her shoulder to bust point line her shoulder to bust point line this goes to the front alone is 11.5 which is here okay The 
this is 11.5 okay so I'm going to put my four inches here I'm gonna connect this line and I'm going to get make her darts 0 0.75 inches okay and I'm going to connect you could come down here at this point you could come down by one inch but I think I'm gonna connect it now to the bus point line you could come down if you want I'll just come down or I'll just connect it for now and then come down later okay Just remember that you need to come down from this line okay I'm just there's a reason why I'm doing it and for the back I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put um, her bust pan um, or seven and a half I'm gonna divide it by two okay you could use the bust pan also it's just that sometimes I see that it it is too close to this part and I don't like seeing it so from this to the initial measurement right here is four and a half so I'm gonna put it here also just to make it even and then I'm gonna connect it to the chest line you should also come down by one inch at the chest line but I'm just not gonna do that now and I'm gonna use 0 0.75 also for the back Okay, so that's basically it for the basic bodies. At this point, you're going to put your uh, your chest, uh, your bust measurement. Our bust is 39. So 39 divided by 4 is 9.75. And I'm going to make it 10 inches. Okay, just to add it. ease. Make it 10 inches. Or 10.25 depends on what you want so from this line right here not from this line you're going to put that measurement okay and so now we said that our waist is 7.5 which is here but then you have these that are here which mounts up to one and a half so you have to add that back okay and then you're going to connect it there okay and it's the same thing here this is 7.5 or actual measurement but then you have this dart which is 1.5 then you draw and guys this concludes the basic the basic bodies this is all you're going to need to draft any design that you wish okay so now what we're going to do we're going to manipulate this in order to get the style that we're working with no I was thinking that um, I'm not gonna make it into a bustier I wasn't gonna tighten anything but I think I'm just gonna tighten the under the under bust so I'm not I'm not I'm not planning on padding anything right but I'm just gonna tighten the under bust so I'm gonna put the under bust measurement which is for her it's 15 inches okay we're not done there's something else that I left yeah there's something else that I should have done you're going to put the two inches here for the dart don't forget that because when you saw it you're gonna be wondering what's going on okay and I'm just just gonna do a little tightening under the bottom of it so this is it all right this is our basic bodies now I'm just going to do a, a little tightening under the this part 
okay because i don't want it to be a bustier because i'm not gonna pad i'm not going to line i'm just gonna use my serger and do this dress okay so what i'm going to do at this point this is three quarters of an inch i'm going to go in at this side quarter inch more so this is 0.75 i'm gonna make this one okay i hope you understand what i just did okay so i'm just going to connect this here I'm going to connect this here connect this bar here i'll just use my curve Because I want to give her a little fitting curve of that part at this point. Inch. I'll just do that. Okay. And just give her a fitting underneath the bus. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to curve it. You notice how I'm placing my curve? You could use a free hand just to get it first and then you curve it up yeah this is fine yeah i decided to give it any after all okay so i, I contoured this part of it okay so now what i'm going to do i'm gonna find the midpoint of here is three and I'm gonna connect it to this point so mate so before I go any further I need to let you know that you're you should put your pattern on fold I should have told you um initially that this pattern should be unfold so my pattern is unfold and what you're going to do before you trace out all of this to the other part let's just take care of the neckline now because i want it to be the same thing so remember the neck the neckline of this dress is going to have a collar and a small opening at the front right here so for the opening at the front i don't want it too deep remember we already came down by three inches so i'm gonna go down about one and a half inch more okay okay right here and then i'm gonna go over by half an inch not too much you could go over more if you want but and i'm just gonna make this connection here like that because here i didn't trouble the neckline because it's gonna have a color and i don't want it too wide or too deep so i'm gonna maintain the three by three inches right here so what i'm going to do i'm gonna go go ahead and i'm going to um trace all of this on the other side of my pattern paper using my tracing wheel All right, guys, so I went ahead and I transferred everything on this side of my paper. I made a mistake right here. Not too white at all. Okay. So, what I want you to do now is add your zipper loans because we have to cut off the back. And we want to put the box together so you want to add your allowance that you you're going to use I'm gonna go ahead and one inch okay 
because I'm gonna cut this off no uh, or whatever seam allowance you use you add it I'm gonna do the same thing here because I'm going to cut this off so this is the only place I'm adding seam allowance one and what I'm going to do I'm going to cut off the back from the front because we're gonna work on the back this is what you're going to have so you're gonna put this together see they're the same all right so put this aside let's go to the front now for the front I want you to let me open here the front I want you to open the post dart the waist dart like this to the bust point line stop you're going to close the bust dart okay mark you you should always draw in pencil so what you find is that this part it it has this curve from here where you have ruffles all the way here all the way going there so what you could do is determine how you want how high you want the ruffles to be not the ruffles but the armhole part to be you could take it all the way down to this part right here or you could take it from here because it's quite far from on the shoulder line and carry it all the way and stop it here it depends on you it depends on what you want so I'm going to use my pencil to determine that line so I'm just going to sketch it first so I'm going to do you don't want this line to be too Okay, because all of this here, you could just stop it there. Okay, so you could take it like this, right here, and stop it here. Or you could carry it all the way down to this point. It depends on what you want. So I'm just going to stop it here. I'm going to use my curve. You choose what you want. Uh, curve it up. I'm gonna stop mine here. It's fine. All right. So this this curve looks nice, right, guys? And you can determine if you want to do contouring or not. But I'm not gonna do any contouring at the over bust. I'm just gonna do it under the under bus. I'm just gonna draw this line for it to be visible. And this part, I'm gonna take it up a little bit more. Like this. Okay, so that looks nice. Okay, if you don't want it so curvy, you don't have to make it so curvy. You could make it, um, not so deep it depends on you maybe i'll just make it like this yeah that looks better this one looks better okay so all of this here is gonna be the yoke that's your yoke that's the part that you're going to put on your bodice and do okay all of this ensure that they are the same all right so let me just trace this so you could see mm -hmm. all 
all right so this is just it this is basically what you need to do the body part this is the part where the yoke is going to be so this is the fabric that I'm gonna use this is the fabric that I'm gonna use and I'm going to I'm going to use this part for the yoke part I couldn't get anything that's close to it so I'm just gonna cut this out All right guys, before you cut this out, there's one more thing that I forgot to do. You have to ensure that the back matches, that the back matches the front. So I'm gonna pin this down. And what you're going to do, you're going to cut out the yoke for the back because the back is gonna have a yoke. You can choose not to, but I'm just gonna put the yoke at the back also. So this is the right side and this is the wrong side so you're gonna place them together like this let me cut this out i'm gonna cut this out put this on it like this right side match the shoulders right should be like this this is what it's supposed to be like see it matches and then you're going to use a tracing wheel Trace it. Ensure that it is the same. See? And you're gonna trace this out. That is if you want the back to have the yoke. So if you could see what I have, look. So this is what you're gonna have. Here you go. All right, so you're gonna cut this off. So this is yoke. Yo, back. Can I put this on? gonna cut this out now right. remember to cut this part out Before you do anything, you're going to need. So let me finish. Cut this out. All right, guys. So this is what you need for the front. Okay. Remember to add seam allowance all the way around your pattern. Half an inch. Half an inch. And one inch at the side. Okay, and this is the back. I'm gonna take out my pins. You could choose to cut out the back if you want. What's your choice? What you're gonna need for the top part, what you need to do is draft the, 
the um, color but I'm not going to do that until I have put it together because you're going to have the color on this but the color is going to have the zipper in it okay I hope you understand what I mean because this is not going to be close up because you need to get in the dress so you're going to have a color here on this part but then you have to add that color with the seam allowance the one inch in order to have the zip going up into the color all right so i'm not going to do that yet and so but you're you're also going to take the measurement of the color so let me put this aside all right so you're going to need this measurement here okay for the color you're gonna need this measurement so you're gonna turn it around like this so this is four and a half this is also four and a half so four and a half plus four and a half That's nine inches. That's for the back. And then for the front. It's going to stop here. It's four and a half. Four and a half. So in total, it's going to be 18 inches. But I'm not going to do it yet until I'm actually putting it on. 